Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Drive Electric today. We're in Tesla's full self-driving version 13.2.1. The highly anticipated version 13 is here and this is going to be my third or fourth time with the version 13 enabled. And so I am very excited. I'm very happy with this update. It is absolutely mind-blowing what it's capable of. So I am at a plaza right now. Um, and I have a destination that's about eight minutes away. I've enabled start FSD from park feature. So this allows you to enable full self-driving directly from a parked state. So you no longer have to engage your brake. You no longer have to change gears. Uh, you essentially just start FSD straight from park. So I've enabled that and we are going to go ahead and trigger that now. So. All we got to do is press and hold this here and the vehicle is now engaged with full self-driving so very simple very easy there's a vehicle that's backing out behind us looks like it might do a double turn here and that's okay so we're off one of the things about this update is the confidence level compared to version 13 is outrageously better, exponentially better. It is confident, seamless, consistent, and it makes decisions, it makes the correct decisions all of the time. I've had three or four drives with version 13, uh, and I've only had to disengage once, and that was not a flaw of the vehicle it was just caught up in a very strange intersection and it was on the wrong side of the road and not flagging that as a problem with full self-driving 13 i just chalked that up to having a weird intersection and setting up the car for failure at that point other than that it has been consistent it has been confident it has been nothing but incredible to be honest and i am so happy and so excited to be a part of this update. I think being a customer of the full self-driving service from Tesla right now especially is really exciting because you're seeing the rapid, rapid advancements that the full self-drive software is providing customers. The leap from version 12 to 13 is drastic and you can feel it immediately. So my stress levels have gone down a lot in terms of letting the car make decisions on its own in version 13 as opposed to 12. 12 was jerky at times. It was inconsistent at times. Uh, but 13 is just way more reliable and confident in itself to make the right decision, decisions. So it's I can't say enough good things about this update version 13 super is super excited to see where it goes and you can see right now that I'm not having to intervene whatsoever there's no um, hesitation from the vehicle there's no inconsistent turns or guessing from the car is very confident 12 would make guesses and version 12 would sometimes um, jerk the vehicle and take a look at this see it was turning pretty much almost at full speed with absolutely no hesitation took the lane with less vehicles too i'm telling you it is wild it is absolutely insane what this version is doing and the park to fsd or start fsd from park rather is an awesome awesome feature it is so cool i started the route from my driveway uh, something that i was never able to do before and so now it gives you the option to start it from your from the very very beginning of the de of your route of your destination here we're coming up on a merge lane so we'll see how it handles this we do have a vehicle on our left shoulder here and not a problem whatsoever no issues, no reservations, no hesitations. 
So again, I'm just so excited to be a uh, part of this experience and seeing the progression. I think that is the most interesting thing about this is when you start to see the progression between updates is fascinating. It's just mind blowing at the speed of the updates um, and the, the consistency between the updates. Each one of course is obviously better um, than the predecessor. Most, mostly. I've had incremental updates where kind of stopped me in my tracks and thought to myself that uh, previous versions are sometimes better. I have absolutely none of that with this leap from 12 to 13. I mean, it is, it is awesome. It is so cool. And my stress levels, like I said, whoa, 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 whoa. That was about to go on red. Whoa. The vehicle was about to go on red at an intersection and I had to intervene. There is a clear red light ahead. Wow. That was pretty scary. I'm going to re-engage full self-driving here, but that was pretty wild. Right in the middle of me praising it too, which is crazy. I mean, that that the car was just going full force straight into red. I think what had happened was it might have confused the light with uh, the cross traffic light because the cross, as soon as that cross traffic light turned green, I believe, is when the vehicle decided to accelerate. So that was actually quite scary. Uh, never has happened to me prior, and that was. Uh, I'm glad I flagged it though. So you you guys uh, you guys heard me flag that to the Tesla team. I hope they take that one very, very seriously. That was the first time I uh, have ever experienced that. But uh, yeah, that was that was really something. I mean, I've never seen that before. I, the only thing I can attribute that to is the cross traffic light turning green. But again, that is that is a non-negotiable whatsoever. I mean, that should never, ever, ever happen. Um, so I'll keep an eye on that. I might do another test in the same lighting conditions at the same intersection tomorrow so stay tuned for that but that was uh that was quite uh quite unsettling and i guess that's why it's still uh the supervised version so we're pulling in here into our destination we'll see how it does here should make an immediate left and it does so we'll see if it finds a parking spot at this destination. I've been pretty successful at the vehicle parking itself at the destination, so we'll see what it does. So it's wrapping around the building here. Uh, plenty of spots open since this building, this business actually went out of business. So let's see what it does. Okay. Well, it just dropped us right in front of the building, so it didn't park this time. He turned this blinker off, but you saw overall was great. That was uh, that was a pretty major hiccup there at the intersection where it just uh, fled straight ahead on red, and I had to intervene very quickly there. So uh, again, I'm glad I flagged that to the Tesla team, but uh, you know, I have never seen that happen before. But uh, I'm thinking I'll do another test drive in the same lighting conditions and at the same intersection in the same way that I just did now to see how it reacts. See if I can replicate that again. I hope I never do, but uh, I think as a test, it would be an interesting test.